This video is an introduction to the 2016 Floor Challenge. The goal of this year's project is to build a gravity-powered machine that can automatically sort large and small plastic spheres that start out mixed in one cup into two different cups. Your machine will be scored based on correct sorting of the spheres, the amount of materials you use, and how quickly it can sort. You must build your machine using only the materials shown here. Printer paper, popsicle sticks, plastic cups, tape, and glue. You can also use one piece of corrugated cardboard as a base for your machine. Each material has a point value assigned to it that will be deducted from your final score, so your goal is to use as few materials as possible. Here's an example of a machine that uses a grate to separate the large and small spheres. The spheres are dropped into the cup at the top and rolled down towards the grate made from popsicle sticks. The smaller spheres are supposed to fall through cracks in the popsicle sticks into the first cup, but notice that sometimes they roll too fast and go into the second cup. The larger spheres are too big to fall through the gaps, so they just roll into the second cup. This machine uses a lever to separate the spheres. The small blue spheres are too light to tilt the lever, so they fall into it and then roll to the right. The larger white spheres are heavier, and they cause the lever to tilt to the left, so they fall into the other cup. However, this does not work very well when I pour an entire cup of spheres into the machine all at once because the lever doesn't have time to tilt back to the right, so most of the spheres wind up going into the left cup. Not correctly sorting the spheres into two different cups would result in a very low score. I could pour more slowly to do a better job sorting, but this would make it take longer and scoring also depends on time, so I have to balance between the two or redesign the machine to do a better job sorting more quickly. The designs in this video are just two examples of what you can build. You could come up with a completely different idea or do your own design. For your entry to be eligible for the floor challenge, your machine must be completely gravity powered, meaning it has no electronic or motorized parts, and you can only use the supplied list of materials. For a complete list of rules, instructions for testing your machine, calculating your score, and submitting your results to the contest, see the link below this video. You can also find thousands of other science and engineering projects for school, home, or just for fun at www.sciencebuddies.org.